The issue of player gambling continues to be one of the biggest concerns for the National Football League, as evidenced by the fact that Colts cornerback Isaiah Rogers, according to Adam Schefter of ESPN, is expected to be suspended for the full season by the end of the week. Now, we knew this was coming based upon the reporting that's previously been done and the fact that Rogers basically admitted to doing the thing he reportedly did, betting on football reportedly betting on Colts games even. But the thing from Schefter's tweet that stands out, a handful of NFL players, including Rodgers, is expected to receive season-long suspensions. A handful. Well, I don't know, a handful. That's That's five or less? Two, three, four, five? I don't know. I don't know what a handful means, but there's other names out there we currently don't know about. There was a report from The Athletic several weeks back that another Lions player was under investigation. Could that be one of the people? But it's going to be another wave of suspensions to match the one we saw in April. And it just underscores yet again the fact that the NFL has failed to properly educate players in the past on what the rules are. At first, I thought it was a Lions problem. I thought it was a team problem. I think what it is, is it's a league problem that some teams have identified and rectified on their own and the teams that just trusted the league was getting it right are the ones that possibly are being burned by this the teams that didn't realize we should supplement we should rewrite the policy we should do our own session so the players have no ambiguity whatsoever because that's the one thing that's been very clear to me there's too much ambiguity out there about what players can and can't do it has not been as clear as it needs to be They're now making it more clear, and even then, they still have more work to do. But the tension that I have always detected, now that I've really gotten my my brain around how this works, the difference between an employer who truly wants employees to understand the policies and abide by them, and the employer who is simply concerned about getting the piece of paper signed by the employee, acknowledging that the employee has received the policy, regardless of whether the employee truly understands the policy. I feel like the league has been too far in that camp. We just need to show that we told them. Now I hope we're getting to the point where the league and the teams make it a priority to make sure they fully understand it. And there's too many fans out that say, oh, they should understand it. Oh, they should understand it. It's not as easy as it sounds. And the league makes it more complicated with the mixed messages that they send. The easy solution, as I've said many times, Just tell all NFL personnel, non-players and players, you cannot wager on sports anywhere, anytime, ever, until your employment with the NFL or one of its teams is over. That's what the rule is for all non-players. There's no reason to not make that the rule for players because the league has full control over this policy. It's not part of the collective bargaining agreement. They can make whatever rules they want. And these suspensions are a reminder that... If you're going to have two sets of rules, you better be sure the players know what the contours of the rules are, and you better explain things in an understandable way, and you better take a step back and ask yourself, does it make sense to have any gray area, or should it just be the simplicity of black and white? Do not gamble on sports ever, anytime, any place, anywhere. I feel like if that was the rule, and if it had been clearly and plainly communicated, maybe some of these suspensions wouldn't have happened because players would have known we can't bet on sports at home, at work, anywhere. So hopefully the NFL will get it together because at some point, unless they're going to brush it under the rug, which you know some would suspect that maybe they would do, at some point, if they don't get this right, there's going to be a superstar that's out for a whole year simply because there wasn't enough done to make sure that that player understands what he can and can't do when it comes to gambling. We'll continue to keep our eyes peeled as to who the players are who will be suspended. I'm sure we'll have plenty more to say about it once we know who the players are that will miss the season. And we'll have updates constantly on this and other topics at profootballtalk.com. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.